Hello McWarriors, how is it going and welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tag. Guys, it's time to build a new Wacker today because we got some very interesting items in the last episode that I want to implement today. So without any further ado, we are going directly to the mech bay. We'll take a look at the Wacker S7 and I think we already have the XL engine with the 240 rated core. Now, the thing is, our Ultra Auto Cannon 10 clan has a recoil of 3, which is quite a lot, honestly. Uh, however, we can um we can lower that recoil mm, predator nice um we can lower that recoil by using one of these uh, flag fire control system we have a higher crit chance with this we have negative one recoil and one evasion ignore sadly we don't have the night vision that the predator gives us but i think it is absolutely fantastic to have the caseless ammo adds another increased jam chance oh and heat extra heat as well interesting um, but yeah, I would say we're gonna run it because it's the only thing that we have right now. The other question is, what the hell are we doing with um, with the rest of the mech, basically? Um, all right, I, I forgot, I forgot. I think we're gonna drop the uh, MMLs. Let's also drop the case. How much is case two? One ton, one slot. I think it's not worth it. No, it's way too much investment right now. And uh, since we have these beautiful arm uh, hard points, the energy arm hard points. We are going to use these lasers that we found the last time. Where are they? Where are you? LBX laser quick cell. Mm-hmm. 50% higher crit chance, which is good because it stacks with the 20% crit chance from the flag. And we also have a plus one accuracy, one evasion ignore, extra accuracy against VTOLs, a recoil of two, which again we kind of ignore. And um That's it. That's it. It's a cluster laser. A cluster laser that we're gonna add. It's actually quite toasty, so we're gonna do something about that as well. Um, but I think we can because we have a radical double heatsink kit. We need some. We need some extras here. One, two, three, and another one. And now we have about one and a half tons that uh, we can work with. Yeah, this is fine. Not sure about the cool shot. A thermal mass. Activates when above 40 heat, then negative 36 heat per turn. Oh, the cool shot has a flat negative 8 heat. And then uh, also have this. Activates when... Oh, wait. 50 heat damage taken. This is an emergency uh, thing. Like the emergency cooling system here. Interesting. I think I want the cool shot because it just has the flat 8. I, I like that a lot. It's really helpful. And I think in terms of our, 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 our whole setup here, it's gonna be the double large LBX lasers plus an Ultra Auto Cannon 10. And that's it. We have it on the arms for higher accuracy. Slick Sweet and Sheath Beacon are here. Mm, I think it's the best thing that we have right now. So what to do? I think we're gonna drop a little bit of leg armor down to 120 possibly. Yeah. 120 and then a bit of back armor down so we have a full two tons to work with what the hell are we doing with that i mean there's an open support hard point could bring a tag and then since we have an ecm already and a pretty good one on top of that we don't need anything in that area Dreadnought Gyro is fantastic, by the way. 15% damage reduction and bulwark. This thing is really hard to kill as a medium mech. I like it. More ammo is not possible. Ah, this is this is hard. This is really hard. I could also not use the tech and instead go for a rocket launcher. Rocket pack 10 is 2.5 tons. We can probably manage that. 5 salvos is not bad. 5 salvos is... Is that better than having a tag? Rocket pack 5 as well. It's also 5 salvos. Shooting 5 missiles with 6 damage each. We could. You know what? I'll do it. I will do it. So, this is it. Uh, and yes, the rocket pack will be a little bit harder than uh, we want it to be. Uh, a plus 1 heat. But it's okay. I think we can manage that. We have the emergency coolant system. It's gonna be fine. However, Chameleon LPS also generates heat per turn which i think is not yet calculated into this i think we need to mm, we need to overcool a little bit more but i want to see this on the battlefield first 
So we have 18 days until this thing is coming to life. But I think it's going to be better than the P1 Wacker that we are currently running. So let's put it to the top of the order. Kintaro, oh sorry, the other Bushwacker as the second one. And in two days time, we can actually, actually three days time, we can get into a mission. Cool. Let's go, everybody. I don't think we need to take a look at the barracks right now. And um, yeah, I'm still, I'm still looking for a good weapon systems. I think with all of the Wackers that we have, we have a great chance to build good missile max. We need an operation for Marek, though, because I want to stay in his in their favor. We're currently friendly. That's good. Escort in the lowlands. It's a mid-tier thing here for us. It's against the pirates again, but it gives us good salvage opportunities. And in one of the former missions, we found a shadow cat, so might as well look for more. Let's go, guys. First mission coming up. All right, guys, let's drop and see what we can do here. Uh-huh. We are in the jungle. No, we're in the lowlands and it's raining. So, evac point is here and we can drop very close. So, there's no blocking force that's obstructing us. That's actually quite good. That means that we can go in, we can get this guy or these guys and then get out quickly again. Maybe we can play two missions today. That would be really cool. Okay, so in we go. Um... Yeah, we can we can just do it. Uh, let's uh, take one of the whackers, and then we're gonna see what's coming. Hello. Uh, actually, I'm gonna drop my UAV here. There we go. Very nice. Uh, that we can definitely make use of that thing. All right, Shadowcat is in position. Let's see what's coming. That's my UAV. That's my friendlies. Oh, we have Max as friendlies. Oh no, we also have battle armor. No, it's a proto make flea. Interesting. We also got a Valiant. This guy seems to have a hatchet and a little combat shield. Hey, that's pretty cool. Is it an actual combat shield? No. But the hatchet is there. Pretty good. Chameleon as well with the light PPC and the small X pulse lasers. Enemies, where are you? Here you are. We got a Clint with a medium rifle. We got a Swordsman. It's an okay mech. Whitworth is okay. And then Urban Mech R60 is meh, meh. It exists. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, let me bring the UAV in, see what we can do here. And I don't know what the ping is actually doing here. Perform a sensor lock on all enemies within 30 meters. Oh, 30 meters. It's really, really small. Sadly, I cannot see a radius here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna brace it up. Uh, I think these guys will not really hurt us that much. Uh-huh. But we certainly want to try to take the rifles and, of course, the urban mech down because it's an R60. So we have an autocannon 10 there on the battlefield that needs to go. So in we go. Bring the Waka. And shoot the swordsman. Good hit. Here's the Whitworth. Missiles away. No. Waiting on you, Commander. Actually, no. Distance from convoy. Uh, it would be great if we could actually see uh, like a visual indicator where we can go. What? Oh, because you are so wet. Yeah, <laughs> there's one guy very far in the back. Waiting so we need to wait a little bit before we can do that. Um, sure. Let me go over here. Okay. Unobstructed line of sight. Pretty good hit chance. One hit only, though. Here's the Clint. Yes, Commander. No shot. No shot whatsoever. I guess. Understood. We Move use our down. Shadow Cat to... Mm, 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 to go for the Clint. I want to have a chance. And I think getting that rifle off is good. Didn't quite get it. Auto Cannon 5 on our Clint yet again. Yeah, this guy is too far up front. We need to wait for turn we 7 until we can use any of these fools. Uh, short range missiles. Here we go. Got it. Okay, I want to make this uh, fight okay, relatively okay. quickly. So that we can, again, play another one. Turn 7 is what we want. Robin Mac, nothing. What can I do for so you? now we can go in. <laughs> Distance from convoy still? Uh-huh. So this is it. The light PPC might be firing here. Yeah, but we are not hitting. Ah, uh, combat lock. Hey, I always forget that you. thing. I always Take forget. Forward. So now we should be able to sprint a little bit ahead, correct? Yeah, like that. 
Okay. On you, and you. <laughs> Let me get to turn three. Good to go. Still too far. What is wrong with you? Got it. Max oh, I hate that. I hate it so much. Okay, now we can go in. Yeah. You so, auto that. cannon five, 12 percent chance, and we miss, obviously. No, that's fine. Good. New round, new fun, UAV sensor ping. Uh, let me let me go like real close to the Clint and do the sensor pinging. Sensor lock yeah. Target. So 30 meters, that works. That totally works. Means we can uh, certainly follow up on you or on the backliner on the swordsman. I go with my long range against the guy that is sitting in the back. Mm, not bad. Got an arm. Medium laser destroyed. That's fine. But this... Oh, man. Uh, this is where I actually want to be. You're going to take the Clint? That Kentaro should be able to blast that guy to pieces. It's not enough, though. So we have to follow up with the Shadow Cat or something else. The Fae. Hmm... Mm. Six evasion. It's not the most in the world, but I'll take it. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that close. Uh oh. All right. All right. No big super duper explosion at the very least. So there is that. Um. Yeah. I mean, let's make it count. Good. We're slightly overheating, actually. All right. Still have Irby, still have the Whitworth. The Swordsman is running. Okay, that's pretty good. Good, to go. good. So, now we're gonna use one of our friendlies, hopefully. If we can <laughs> ever get there to uh, follow up on the Clint. Get the last hit in here. It takes a bit of my experience away, because whenever you get a last hit, then you get some extra experience. And now it's on one of our friendlies and not on our guy. Okay, Urban Mech is confused. Love to see it. The Valiant is moving. We actually have a mask, but it doesn't help us because our move is so impaired. Thanks to the fact that we have to stay in the convoy zone. Waiting on you, Commander. Too far. <laughs> it's okay. I don't even care. So, another round. Uh, what are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? Go in with the rocket. Can we? It's got damage. It's good damage. Short range missiles depleted. Short range missiles depleted. Got it. But you know what? We got more. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna fire all the all the weapons, I guess. Tell me what to do. Leg open, unsteady as well, but he's able to stabilize again because he has another turn. And keep in mind, guys, as soon as we're getting into the blue zone, uh, there will be another lance coming down. Roger. We got no sensors? No, no, it's just range. Okay. Firing a salvo. All right, so the swordsman is down as well. I really hope that we can actually get the, the new whacker to the battlefield today. I would really love that. Mm, yeah, sure, you can go over here and we're going to try to take the Irby down now. Blam blam. Mm, not quite there, but if we take the right side off, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. Heat is a problem though. I mean, the good news is we got our radical heat sink kit. Ah, uh, let's go. Auto cannon needs to go. Reporting critical hit. Still overheating. I thought I was below my heat threshold. Something is off with the prediction here. Hmm. Whitworth is going. Should I? Could I? I should probably just push ahead. Here we go, Chameleon. I hear ya. Yep. Moving out. Get the flea in there. And now it's Irby time. Let's see what he is able to do. Nothing. You, Super awkward. I, read you, Commander. Moving out. I am not against Ready it, but... Orders. It would be great if my enemies would also fire things, right? Alright then. We want to attack from the front, since uh, I want to attack the weak spot. There we go. All right, Irby is not a threat anymore. I mean, he has a small laser. He can still poke our our face, 
but it's, it's not the biggest of deals. UAV. Mm, okay. Okay. And then we got Lafay as well. I think it's time for the mask, because I want to sprint in. Important thing is I, I'm supposed to not forget. Hello? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's run fast. Let's also not shoot all the lasers. But I'm here for the machine gunnery. Alright. So, Irby now also lost the laser, but he is still up and running. Whitworth, no weapons. None. Uh, Kentaro cool, sure. Why not? Um, too far. But I want to keep just going. Uh, this is my waka, huh? Sure, let's get the kill on Irby, but I need to not shoot the large laser. I need to actually cool. So this guy's ideally gonna give us a bit of resolve, but he's still alive. Okay, there we go. There we go. Pretty good. So, now, we're gonna bring the convoy into the blue zone while we are dealing with the Whitworth. I don't think he's gonna have a lot against us. It's a long-range guy, so we underrun him, and we're gonna get him. And then next round, we get into the zone, and the new lands will drop, and another fight will unfold. Eh, sure. Do, do I ping here? Maybe I don't ping. Let's brace it up. How might I help? How might I help? You might help by going in and killing. Confirm. Put the acid ammo to the front. What can I, do I know, but I don't care. Uh huh. End it. You. Actually end it? Ooh, we could go melee on this guy. Our ultras wouldn't have the greatest hit chance here, but I do like the kick. Nice. We attack from the right side, though. No, actually from the back. Uh, alright. Alright, alright, alright. So one side torso down. And yes, I think we will follow up with whatever we have here. Uh, large pulse, SRMs, sure, why not? Blow him up. Uh, that's a crit and another eject. That's pretty good. So, we turn off the mask, super important. Uh, I think we're just gonna jump around into cover. Because something is coming. We don't know what it is yet. Machine gun unjammed, okay. Uh, let me, let me go somewhere. There's a chance we actually get into the zone, and if not, we're gonna set up next round. Yeah, there it is. There it is. The Valiant is the guy. Good. So, next fight coming up right now. We have a dropship on the left flank. Okay. Oh, there they are. There they are. Rabbit Coyote. A Black Lanner. Oh, oh. And that's a Hollander. Oh, and an RX Hollander as well. So this is the heavy PPC guy, huh? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Am I done here? Yeah. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay. Okay then. On my way. I can technically shoot at 14%. Long range targeting. Sure. Here we go. Might as well, right? Might as well. So Black Lana. Interesting, Mac. I wouldn't necessarily add it to my lance, but it brings some goodies. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, these guys have spawn protection, so we, we will wait as per usual. The stealth, the rabbit coyote. What was that thing again? I haven't seen that in a while. I remember that I think it was good. Uh, we have our UAV with a ping for, you know, the coyote. Got it. Double ballistic, double missile. Huh. Oh, he's coming in. Yeah, it hurts. A lot. Oh, holy crap. That's why I thought it was dangerous. Huh? Huh? Holy macaroni. Can I, can I toss a twist? No, I cannot. I can just brace, I guess. Oh, that was not good. 
my poor poor whacker this is this is dangerous we need to take this guy down quickly he's also pretty hot though um so there's that here is the black lana very mobile mac comes in with ecm as well Um, uh, I lost a weapon. Excuse me? Receiving you. Excuse me? What the hell was that? Uh, yeah, I need to UAV. Give me, give me UAV. So UAV goes here. Ah, uh, minimum distance. Ah! Uh, I need 30 meter to the guy. Is this 30 meters? I don't know. Ping him. No, it wasn't enough. Okay. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. Well, well, well. How do we get it done? I think we need to knock him over or make him unsteady or something. So we wait for turn 10. Get the whacker. Kick him. Is that what we do? Oh, my God. Ermagord. Ermagord. We have a 60% chance if we do it from here. Let's go. No, that's a miss. It's a problem. Can we hit him with something? Answer is no. We are in trouble. On the flip side, we can maybe manage his heat a little bit in, in our favor. Ugh, give me my Kintaro real quick. I, I need that thing. Uh, also, uh, get down, Mr. President. Yeah, I'm gonna just try to attract fire from the Lena. <laughs> oh, this is not good. <laughs> this you, is dangerous. So a side attack would be great down. here. Uh, will we stray shot ourselves? We'll see. We'll see. Alright, some of my Inferno missiles were actually connecting. It's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Getting pretty hot in here! Yeah! Medium lasers! Come on! Take this. Pew pew! Nope. All right then. So this is what we got, and I honestly don't like it. By the way, there's the Hollander. Is it? Yeah, it's the energy variant. Of course, it would be. If I move backwards, I have like no hit chance anywhere. Do we jump and brace? We are looking okay still. It's the fact that we got some internal damage and the. Uh, the headshot. That kind of makes me freak out a bit. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, yeah. I'll jump and brace. This is a... Roger. Try to get into a secure position turn, and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do from there. And yes, we will, we will try to completely go for go. one target and one target alone. Please don't stray shot your friend. Let's go for it. All are go. A bunch of machine gun hits, but not worth really freaking out over. For okay. okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah. You hold your ground against the uh, Black Lana. Short range targeting. Oh, actually, no. Long range targeting here. Uh, let's go. Two percent. No hit. Who would have thought that? All right. So, who's gonna act first? Turn 19. It is the Hollander. And the. Oh, there's a Toro. One down. One down. We actually gotta keep these guys alive! This is usually not a problem, but now it is. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Little guys are alive. I'm losing weapons <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. We need to get the kick off. We just need to do it. Uh, I think the ultras make no sense here. Turn 15. Do we have? E do we even have follow up? Let me quickly check that. We do not have follow up. Ooh. So a kick means not a lot. I need to stabilize though. Mm. Okay. Okay then. 19%. If I sprint, I cannot sprint. Ah, wait, I can if I go vigilant. Yo, this is... This is a crazy fight. 17%. 15%. Ah, 
I think I'm out of my minimum distance though, right? Am I? It's just so hard to hit this guy. Uh, screw it. I'll kick him. Aye, aye. We might get some leg damage in that's worthwhile. And yes, we do. We got it at the very least. The streak is firing. So there's something. But again, he's able to stabilize again. Uh, but he cannot sprint. He can only move. And he's still hot. Yeah. Two evasion. It's pretty good. Means... What does it mean? It means that we go in uh, from here and kick him. No pulse laser, please. Thank you. And I think it's like all the infernos in the world. Got it. Oh. Another leg hit. Man, the coyote. It's a tough nut to crack. Uh, UAV does nothing. Absolutely nothing. Commander? Yo, friends. Uh, run. <laughs> Just run. We need to keep you alive. At all costs. Roger that. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Laser beams. Uh, I may need some more time in the simulator. Okay. Here comes the Toro. Reporting. You could also go for a kick attack now. Ah, it's a charge. Okay, fine. Fair enough. I want to go for a side attack, though. Maybe we can kick the leg underneath the mech. Got the upper leg down. Okay. Alright, we're getting there. I want to deal more stability damage to knock him. So, here's what we do. We're gonna kick him again. Plonk. Hit the wrong leg. Hit the head. The headshot is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He will also fall. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rabbit Coyote. Rabbit Coyote, everybody. Uh, can you can you go melee on this? Oh, the employer forbids it? Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> fine. Fine, then. You are so bad. Like, really bad. I want to keep these guys alive, so we brace. Good to go. Mm. Too far, too far. So this is where we go. We go short range targeting. <laughs> it's just not good. Hey, 24 damage though. I'll take every point that I can. So far, so good. This is actually okay. The thing is, I have the chameleon that I'm gonna use to jump around, and when the time is right, I'm gonna jump into the escort zone and let him flee. Uh, you do nothing? Okay. I think the next target is going to be the Black Lanner. It's not an easy target, but his ballistic is kind of jammed right now. That's good. Here it goes. His ECM as well. Yeah, but this is a good... <laughs> I wanted to say a good backstrike <laughs> situation. It is not. Alright, let's see what we have. 20, 27 and 39. I'll take the Hollander next. Okay, big AMS. Gotcha. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Three percent chance to hit. Where to go? We're just gonna sprint around a little bit. Hoping that we can get things done. What can I do for you? Come on, I wanna sprint. Where can I go? Uh, also sensors with searchlight might be a good idea. If I run into the blue bubble, I'm gonna get jammed though. Let's stay out of it. Yeah, we can possibly get the narc off. And the pulse. And you know what? I'm gonna shoot the rockets. Roger that. I want to make his AMS go empty or jam or something like that. Yes, the Toro. Matador. <laughs> That's funky. You know, Toro, Matador. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we could potentially attack the Toro. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll try. Dual machine gun again. Here we go. Got it. 
This is helpful. Him being jammed is really good. No hit chance there. Eh, I don't want to get jammed. But maybe we have to bite the bullet. Shadowcat, let's go. I will also go Vigilant, so we can possibly hit the Hollander next round again. Hmm. Negative two resolve. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, you should probably jump. Yeah. Seems like an idea. Give the chaff. Give the MRM. Bad AMA. I think it's... Why would you do that? Because he's bleeding out! I need the floaties. I am not used to the stupid combat lock seeing that my pilot is bleeding out. On the floaties, it's so much more obvious. Damn it. He's bleeding out. Okay. But it was there all the time. Yeah, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm just not seeing it. <laughs> waiting for orders. Crap. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. Uh, let's go in here. Shoot the medium laser. Ah, we lost the cockpit. Okay. And we lost the unit that has firepower. Eh. Eh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna use the Shadow Cat. Let's go in here. Let's use all the machine guns. Oh, so good. So good! Uh, diminishing the enemy's firepower makes it uh, more reliable to keep our friends alive. How do we get the Black Lanner, though? I think we don't get it yet. We're gonna focus down on the Toro, which is actually hittable. No streak. But yeah, same deal here. Got it! Let's go! Little bit toasty. Okay. Mm, we got him on steady, and we got one more activation, which is our UAV. <laughs> uh, let, let, let me go over here. Is he gonna shoot the UAV out of the sky, or are these guys completely ignoring this little dude? Waiting for orders. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, flea squad. Let's do it. Hey, we got something. Not bad. All right. All right. So, this, the, the Black Lanner is coming in, going for the Klin, potentially killing here. Oh, not quite. Not quite. And then the Toro has an activation. Oh, <laughs> This is crazy. One of the toughest escorts I have ever played, actually. The enemies are not messing with their quality here. Mm, yeah, yeah. You can fly and I Good can job. Hear. So, Good to go. is there a chance to go in his flank? There is none. So we do this. We stay in cover for as much as possible. No peep. Toro down. Oh, he was bleeding out as well. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're learning, guys. We're learning. This whole... Whole minimum distance is a problem. Ugh, I hate it. UAV is tough to use. This wouldn't be 30 meters. But it's 30 meters. One hex? Frunk. Doesn't do a thing. Yep. Okay then. Okay. Mm. 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 Let him take a turn. I want him to come a bit closer. Oh, he's running. Ah, he's not running that fast. Also, he didn't fire a weapon. Hell yeah. So we go in his flank and see what we can do. Black Lana, last guy. We're still kicking, guys. We are still Lana? kicking. So much for a double mission today. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, it makes no sense shooting anything here, correct? No, I think we're gonna hold for a second. Uh, distance from convoy. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hold here. Commander. Commander. If we use our mask, can we get behind him? We're close. Seems good. Um, heat management is fine. Let's go for it. Bunch of ones. Uh, 
Yeah, I guess you just move. On my way. And you don't shoot, right? Oh, wait, actually. 22% is not bad. Not bad at all. Systems recycling for another good to go. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Uh, this is not worth the shot. No. So, the Lanner is gonna initiate. I think we really need to solve this problem with melee attacks. Uh oh. Ooh, I thought he was aligning a shot against the back of my Shadow Cat. Okay. Speaking of the cat, I think we're gonna initiate in turn 14. Come on, LeFay. You gotta do it. You gotta do it now. The kick is 60%. Please hit him. It's so imperative. It's a miss. Oh no. Well, we got some backstrikes here. Did I see red numbers? I did see red numbers. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. 11%. If I go, like, closer... 15... 17, 15... That's fine. How do we break him? How do we break him? Hmm. I think the answer is by going close. The stray shots are a thing, though. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna do it. No, not yet. It is not time yet. I can't do this. <laughs> okay. Brace the UAV. Okay, this is not too bad. We're getting closer for a potential extra kick. And we dealt some damage. Waiting for orders. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's go over here. Not shoot, though. That ECM is a problem as well. Okay. He's not moving. We have a kick. We have a kick. I'm gonna go in from here. It's a 50-50. Uh, I mean, 54-46. We hit him, yes. At the very least, we get his four evasion off. This is helpful. This is huge for us. Problem is that our mask is not in a good spot. Uh, I need to turn it off. Yes. Cannot turn it off. Why? Oh, because it's not my turn. Oh, never mind. Um, done. No, we gotta turn it off. And we also tried to go for another kick attack, but this time from behind. With all the machine guns that we got. Because he's open there. Let's go for it. 77% chance. We hit him. Yes. Is that enough? It is. Woo. Alrighty then. Oh, that was a tough mission. That was a tough mission. Again, the bleed, the bleed, the bleed, the bleed. I need to take care of that more. Whenever I'm getting an injury, my first instinct should be look at this, look at the combat log, take a look at if anybody is bleeding and then react accordingly because otherwise they will just punch out. Or maybe die even. Okay. This is fine though. I don't think that we lost a lot on this cockpit. Uh, let's see, we got 253,000. Uh, fire control system risk, small advance. Ah, yeah, the small advance is gone. Oh, and an angel ECM. Ooh, it wasn't ahead, huh? Eh. Eh, it's fine. We can deal with that. All right. So, more importantly, what do we take here? We got a pirate snub nose PPC. We have another angel ECM, so we can bring it back. Primitive sensors. I'm very interested to see what we can salvage from the max. We have a lot of salvage rights here, so we could even take the Rabbit Coyote as is and be fine with it. Comes with Stealth Armor. Clan Guardian is gone. Okay. Radical Compact. Compact is okay. Light Engine 275. Active Camouflage. Supercharger. Vibrosword. 5 tons. Pirate Heavy Machine Guns. Shoots just a lot of times. And generates heat with every shot. Uh, ignores evasion. Bonus damage against overheating target. And 
has a recoil, her shot above one, and a high jam chance. Oh, I don't know if I want that. Specialist slot. We got high explosive here, huh? This guy was also running a combat shield. That's pretty cool. Pirate ATMs, yeah, with tandem ammo and acid and stuff. This guy's nasty, man. Wait, does it have one or two of these? Oh, rockets were on the other side. I'm gonna say no to the Coyote. The light engine is a bit of worth. Like, like this here in the center torso could be valuable. But let's take a look at the Toro instead. We have spiked armor. TSM. Mm. Supercharger as well. Lower melee punch. Battle fist. A mech lance. Seven tons. These guys were really dangerous. I just realized. I mean, I knew that they were, but holy crap. Um, hmm. And there is the Hollander. Ah, oh, he had the battle computers. All right, let me take a look. Mark II fire control system. It's good. A lot of things are broken. We have optics Mark II. Hmm. Gets rid of, uh, what? No visuals at the very least. This is the hyper laser that I was afraid of, but I don't think I'm gonna run it because of the misfire chance on these, unless they change that. 20% chance to misfire, 30% when in overcharge mode. I don't know. I think I'm gonna say no. This is a shame, but okay. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take this guy either. So what's worth in the Whitworth? Probably nothing. Huh? 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 There we go. Uh, let me see. We have, yeah, LRM-10 Artemis. Or what was in there? Oh, this was an SRM guy. Gotcha. SRM Artemis. Some double heat sinks are here. We have a double heat sink kit. I think I sleep on this guy. Yes, we disassemble you. That's for sure. Uh, I'll come back to all of the other things later. Um, give me a sec. The question is, do we want any of the Taro or Coyotes or Hollander stuff? I think Hollander is also going to get disassembled. Uh, then the question stays, Taro, yay or nay? I don't feel it. It has that, like, lower melee punch, battle fist, mech lance situation. The lance is kind of okay. Is it always armor piercing? Wait. Three shots directly to internals. Requires lower arm, fires all melee and death from above attacks. Requires seven tons capacity. It's heavy. We need to have TSM for that. Eight damage directly to internals. Always rolls for a crit. Also, wait. It's 26 raw damage and then armor piercing uh, eight times three. Yeah. Yeah. And then it also increased by a factor of 0 0.33333 and so on. Uh, depending on how fast you move. So... This is a Jouster, this is a Charger. Interesting. It has the TSM. I don't feel like it. It's... It, it, no, no, I think we're gonna stay shooty here for the moment. No melee mech yet. Alright, then another check on you. You got melee actuators, actually. Ooh, ooh, 10% damage. 5% stability on everything and plus 1 accuracy for anything that is melee related. I mean, it's the full thing that we can take. It has a Vibro Sword and a Combat Shield. It takes all of our picks. A 55 ton mech that is kind of a melee fighter. But you know what? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no to it. I'm not pumped about it, so therefore we are not taking it. We take the stuff that is actually interesting to us. Like, um, I don't know. The Snubby? Recoil of three. Uh, I'm gonna say no to that. Optics is good. ECM is good. Battle Fist, we could take it anyways, you know. 20% multiplied to punch damage is not bad. Combat Shield, Endo Steel, Light Engine. The Blood Spot is Good, and it's kind of a rare find. I think I also want the Mark II and the double heatsink kit for a bit of money because we will need that. Oh, the blade. The blade is also good. TSM Vibro Sword. Yeah, we have a lot of melee stuff lying around here. Uh, but I'm hoping for some randos. Let's go. Too many mech parts. 
Machine Gun Heavy Pirate, uh, I think I'll take it for the moment. SRM is good. We get the Battle Fist. We got a double heat sink. We get the Radical Compact. Oh, I should have taken that over the room, the double. Yes, because it's worth way more. But I'm not a fan of compacts. It's a lot of investment. So I think I'm gonna say no. Unless I'm gonna use it for something that only requires 10 heat sinks. Then having a radical is fine. Yeah, let's keep it around for the moment. We can always sell it when needed. Primitive sensor, standard fusion engine. Hey, that's money. That's 100,000. And we got a bit of mag pulse. Okay. Holy crap. Yeah. We can bring back the Waka. Our small advanced, small advanced cockpit is sadly gone. Uh, everything else stays because the uh, risk stuff is fixed in the, in the Waka, so we wouldn't lose it. Uh, we can replace the Angel ECM, but we need to free up a ton somehow which we are probably able to get done. Yeah, guys, looking at the time right now, uh, I didn't expect this thing to go so crazy. So it's only one mission today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.